What's up everybody? How you doing? How you feeling? And how you living? Today I'm joined with my mommy, one of my ride or dies, my homie, and we're filming a little video. Um, just talking. I just wanted to talk to y'all for this new year, you know, have some new content for y'all this year. So we're just going to talk about growing up with deaf parents. So my mom is, both, her, both of her parents are deaf, but me, it's just my dad. My dad is deaf, both of my mom's parents are deaf, so my grandparents are deaf. So you would say like I was raised around deaf people, right? Yeah, you're still a child, a CODA. Yeah, CODA is child of a deaf adult. So, so what, what did you say that like deaf people have more leniency? Oh, with yeah. their child. They have more leniency, but they expect a lot from it. Yeah. Because I remember, like, with my mom, my mom is a strict, but she don't let us do whatever we want. But my dad, who is deaf, like, he would say yes to everything I ask him. So. I think that's got a lot with being a man, too. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, when you was growing up, how was your parents like with, like, curfew? Well, see. Yeah. Well. My mom, I was raised by my mom. My dad wasn't in the house, so. Right. But my mom was real lenient. As long as I, the grades were coming in correct, I was good. And my mom was an honor student, y'all. I was. Um, so, like, but she was able to drink alcohol at 18. I was because I was responsible. It may not be right, but I was responsible. Did you ever get embarrassed, though? Because, no. like, I don't mean embarrassed, like, because, like, I know me, I used to get a little embarrassed because... Like when I was in school and like you and dad would come to the sports games mm -hmm. and you and dad would be talking in silence mm -hmm. and all the attention would go that way. Right, there. right. So then I used to be like, oh my gosh, like I love both of them, but can they please like pay attention to the game? Because literally everybody will turn around and that's watch y'all. That's because they are intrigued by sign language and yeah. how we're conversating. Yeah, but it's just you stuff. And I don't like how people think like deaf people are handicapped. Yeah. Uh, deaf people don't like it because in the old days they used to call them deaf and dumb and that's not the correct term for it and deaf people are offended by them. They are deaf but they are far from dumb. Right. Um, and your, my grandma, her mama, she was like, what school did she go to? She went to Georgia School for the Deaf. That's like the Harvard of the deaf mm -hmm. community, right? Mm -hmm. And she was a track star. Basketball star. That's where I, well, I didn't play sports growing up. but. <laughs> But you did get the fashion from her. She was a fashion person. She fashioned a bull person. She loved to dress. Yeah, I, I, that was a joke. I actually did play sports, but <laughs> my mom and the joke. I always, I forget about those times. I, I wonder why is it that a lot of like deaf, like my dad's parents don't know sign language. Like my dad's mom doesn't know sign language. But and your your grandma, not your grandma, your mom's parents didn't know sign language either. No, they had home signs. That's why is referred to when they don't know per se sign language but they know how to communicate back and forth right. with their loved one right so because i know when we go when we go visit my dad's family my dad's sister-in-law not not my dad's sister-in-law my dad's sister knows sign language um sandra but mm -hmm. doesn't know sign language, right? right but she knows how to talk she knows how to talk but like sometimes we have to interpret for that family up there right and that's like your we well you had home signs back in and my mama, and I think I had the best of both worlds because, like, when you, you got put out of the classroom. I did when I was young because I was raised by a deaf person. So you, she, my mama got put out of the classroom every day to learn something. You know how some people get put out of the classroom to read? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I got pulled out to learn silence. She got pulled out to learn silence because her mom was deaf. And I always wonder, like, how come I didn't get put out of the classroom? Because, like, I'm pretty well in silence now, but, like, I could have been, like, extra more fluent if I'd have been put out of the uh, classroom. Because but, you had a hearing mom. Yeah. So it wasn't a need. You wasn't growing up in a deaf household. Yeah. But I feel like I kind of got the best of both worlds because I had, a, like, a hearing parent and a deaf parent. Oh, yeah. So another thing that I want to talk about with, like, growing up with deaf parents is, like, how... I don't know how to put it. What? I don't know. I get I get nervous when I talk to other deaf people because my mom always tells me I don't need to be, but I get nervous when I talk to other deaf people because it's like I know sign language, but when I sign into other people, there's like so many different signs for one word. So I don't want to make it seem like I don't know what I'm saying just because I don't understand 
what they're saying just because I don't know the way that they sign what they sign. Which you shouldn't be because, like I said, you learn home signs and sign language. But different households may talk them different ways of doing it. So if they don't understand what you're saying, they'll let you know. Mm -hmm. And it, like the home signs, one thing like my dad, the sign for like some of the signs I did when I was younger is was not really the real sign that I found out when I got older. Like he used to teach me like graduate like this. Right, because it was easy for us, him to teach you as a, a young boy that's a, a way to sign it so you won't have to do it yeah hard but now i realize that graduate is like this <laughs> hold on like this right so anything else you want to tell talk about no um other than if you you get if you're you become interested in a deaf person um be prepared for a lot um, there's a lot of responsibility that comes along with it. You're their partner, but you're also their advocate too. So you're constantly having to sign for them at different places where they oh, don't yeah. have interpreters at. I, I didn't think about that when I got married. Not saying I didn't appreciate him, but it was a lot. And when you're growing up with deaf parents as a child, you're already growing up fast anyway because you're already having to interpret for them. So. Yeah, just to piggyback off of that, I completely agree. Like, cause one time I had to go to the um, my dad wanted to return some shoes, and I had to explain to the clerk that he wanted to return some shoes, and like going back and forth between my dad and her, and like what I was trying to tell her, she didn't understand what I was trying to say, mm -hmm. and then my dad was trying to talk, you no, know, right. and she didn't understand what my dad was saying. So me and my dad were both trying to tell her what he was mm -hmm. trying to do. Mm -hmm. So, and um. Deaf people really like when you want to learn. Oh God, yes, they love that. Cause a lot of people, like I have a friend that, um, if I like have like this deaf, um, want to go to like a deaf event or whatever, one of my friends will always be like, well, I don't know sign language. But people don't realize like if you deaf people love when you want to learn yes. and when you ask them signs that you want to know, they fall in love with that because they like teaching. They you they like to see that you're interested. And keep right? in mind, deaf have no filter, so. What may offend oh, yeah. you, don't take it offensively because they don't mean any harm, but they just don't care. Whatever comes out of their mouth, comes out of their mouth. Yeah, because like I said, my granddad is also deaf, my mom's dad. And one time we went up there, I don't know if you know, remember, but one time we went up there to visit and one of my granddad's friends told me that I look like a girl. Right. <laughs> he was like, you got a girl face or something like that. Right. But it wasn't out of like being like disrespect for anything. Right. It was like the truth. And another thing, well, like deaf people tell you, like like I learned this year, when deaf when you ask deaf people like how are you doing, how was your day, oh, they will tell you exactly how their day is. Like work by work. Yeah, like I got in the car wreck, I had a horrible day, my wife is cheating on me. Yes. They will tell you everything. Be careful what you ask for. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I have for today. If you want a part two of growing up with deaf parents, oh, we need to do we might even do a um do a video in sign language and Ooh. show people, do an entire video in sign language and we could communicate, it was not the end, yeah. communicate in sign language. Yeah. Um, Maybe have the captions at the bottom. Yes. Because <laughs> we know there's a lot of people deaf. Right. And they will see. Yes. And look. Yes. So, listen, listen, thank you so much. Son, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching us. And then come back and see me for more. Be you, be true, and be a tenderoni. Be a tenderoni. <laughs> I don't know the sign for that. <laughs>